Okay, so today I'm back on this uh, trailer build here, and I'm fixing to break it down so that I can cut all the lumber to size and do a little bit more welding on the axle, specifically the um, uh, the mounting plates I'm going to need to mount them to the underside of the, the frame rails here. Uh, I've just got them marked out briefly on the 2x4s and on the axle itself because the geometry is going to change a little bit since I'm going to shorten. I'm going to cut the frame rails off somewhere up here and it's going to change the geometry of, of these two pieces of wood. It's going to bring them in ever so slightly. <clears throat> I mean, as far back as I've got the axle, that's not going to change much. So I'm just going to weld on a fairly oversized piece of uh, steel. And once I've got the wooden frame situated, the A-frame situated the way I want it, then I'll just drill some holes in the uh, the mounting bracket the, where I need them to be. And I'll be golden. But anyways, I figured before, before I get done with this little bit today I figured I'd kind of show you a few of the design elements I went through or theorized before I started uh, mocking this all up and I'll show you the axle up close what um, what I actually did there <clears throat> so let's see hopefully this will show up okay so this was kind of my first iteration of it this all through here what I originally had anticipated was uh, basically just parallel frame rails and then cutting a separate piece of lumber for um, both of the sides of the, the tongue, basically, that would extend from the frame rail to the, the hitch. But then it dawned on me for what I'm building, you know, I could easily go with this A-frame approach and, you know, simplify things. Uh, make it go a little bit quicker. Um, another thing that I originally considered was using a tubular type axle. Um, basically, if I could have found a piece of tubular steel that was close on a close match from the tube's inside diameter to my steel axle outside diameter, I would have just pressed the two pieces together or drilled a hole and welded them together. But I just didn't have any round stock that were or round tubing that was a close enough match. I had stuff that was a little oversized like this to where I would have needed to make a bushing or a pair of bushings to actually install the axle shaft onto but then I got to thinking it'd take me so much more time to do all this than to just go with the angle iron approach. So the other, the other um, thing that was appealing about that was that I could just simply drill a hole in the side of the 2x4s for the, the frame rail and slip the axle right through and then just secure it in place be a little bit easier as far as mounting is concerned but then I came up with you know simple ways of mounting this angle iron contraption so it wound up not being an issue the only other thing I was thinking about was deck height <clears throat> and after getting this situated with the frame rails sitting on top of the axle and moving the hitch point to the underside of the uh, of the frame it, it wound up being fairly level anyways so it's kind of a, a non-issue but oh and I, I initially start, thought about uh, straight sideboards and then it dawned on me if I just angle them out I you know for brush that would be ideal it'll give me a little more cargo capacity but just more of my chicken scratches. 
So anyways, I'll get this axle off real quick and I'll uh, bring it up to the camera and give you guys a little view of it. <clears throat> so this wound up being basically the quickest and dirtiest thing I could come up with, but I mean, that's, that's all it needs to be. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It's not going down the road. It's not going highway speeds. There's a little bit of, I don't know if it shows up in the camera or not, but there's a little bit of, um, oh, a little bit of wobble from one side to the other, indicating that I don't have the axles perfectly aligned with one another. But there again, it's totally irrelevant for what this is going to be. And I don't know if anybody noticed or not, but these are supposed to be drive tires from the John Deere 120, L120. Um, it's got a keyed shaft in it here. And I figured, well, heck, I, I was originally planning on using, you know, front tires, which would have been, you know, quite a bit uh, shorter. And then it dawned on me, I really won't be able to ever reuse these rims unless I, you know, like modify them. So this wound up being, in my opinion, the perfect, the perfect set of wheels to use for this. All right. So that is basically all there is to the axle. It's a piece of angle iron. It'll go on the trailer just like that. I'll have mounting flanges across here with holes drilled in to mount it. And I need to get, or I'm assuming I probably want to get some more weld, especially on this inboard side, but I blew the breaker right at the last minute yesterday. So I had it tacked up enough to, to go. So it was good enough, but this is, um, all this is, is a little bit over one inch in diameter. This is the, um, the oddball bolts that I had gotten for moving the Cochrane Bly mill. And I just turned this down to three quarters and drilled a hole in the end here for a cotter pin. So about the only other thing I really would like to do yet is make a pair of washers, an inboard and outboard washer. Uh, to prevent wear on the axle hubs, but I mean it just doesn't get much simpler in design than this and I think it's going to be plenty strong for what it is and if or for what the load is going to be carrying and if it doesn't if it's not if it starts to bend all I got to do is pop it back off and either add more material to it or change it over to something different but anyways it's still Fairly tolerable temperatures outside, so I'm going to try and get a little bit more of this accomplished before tomorrow. It's supposed to get back into the 40s, I think, tomorrow for a while, so I'm going to take advantage of this weather while I can. So, hopefully I'll have a little bit more of this to show later today. Hopefully it'll be most of the way complete, but probably not 100% complete. So anyways, that's it.